Italy, one of Europe's most enchanting and diverse destinations, promising an unforgettable experience for every visitor. Stretching from the Alps in the north to the Mediterranean in the south, Italy's landscape spans snow-capped mountains, rolling hills dotted with vineyards, and over 7,000 miles of coastline dotted with islands. Culturally, this country is the heart of Western civilization, giving rise to some of history's most renowned artists and leaving architectural wonders in every city. But beyond Italy's iconic cities and artistic treasures, it harbors natural scenery so spectacularly beautiful that it could be ripped straight from a storybook. Vibrant coastal villages perch impossibly along multi-hued cliffs. Medieval hamlets materialize in mist-shrouded valleys, rewarding hikers with ever-changing panoramas. And the Amalfi Coast finds towns seemingly growing from the sea itself in tiers of pastel homes cascading to the waves. Today, we'll explore 10 of Italy's most beautiful scenic spots that embody the very definition of natural paradise. From beach towns and alpine villages to breathtaking coastlines, here is a scenic tour of Italy's untouched beauty. At number 10 is the enchanting city of Verona. Now, I'm sure many of you out there are well acquainted with Verona's most famous residents, star-crossed lovers by the name of Romeo and his beloved Juliet. This northern Italian town is dripping with old-world charm, with its streets winding past medieval architecture and elegant palazzos, where you can practically envision scenes from Shakespeare's greatest tragedy playing out. Be sure to pay a visit to Juliet's house itself, where over a million smitten admirers have left love letters in her wooden mailbox each year, seeking a little of the romance the location is famous for. And when the sun goes down, treat yourselves to a spectacular evening at the Arena di Verona, an amphitheater built during Roman times that forms a breathtaking backdrop for operatic performances throughout the summer season. At number 9 is the incredibly picturesque region known as Cinque Terre. Now this place really has to be seen to be believed. It consists of five tiny multicolored fishing villages that are literally carved into rugged cliffs overlooking the Mediterranean. The villages Vernazza, Cornelia, Manarola, Rio Maggiore, and Monte Rosso look like something out of a storybook with buildings in rainbow hues cascading down towards the sea. But what makes Cinque Terre truly magical is the network of hiking trails connecting the settlements, affording sweeping coastal vistas around every turn. It's recommended to spend a day wandering lazily from one village to the next, soaking up the fairy tale atmosphere. Just be sure to wear comfy shoes. Some of those trails are steep. Don't forget your camera either because the panoramas here are absolutely Instagram worthy. Next, from one of Italy's prettiest places, comes the utterly romantic city of Venice. Instead of roads, its palaces seem to float upon shimmering aquamarine pathways. It's definitely recommended to experience the sense of fairy tale wonder that comes from slowly floating down these waterways on a private gondola ride. Be sure to spend time in the magnificent Piazza San Marco, the beating heart where generations of merchants once wielded power. Foodies, here's for you! While exploring Venice's historic alleys, don't forget to sample chiquetti, the delicious bar snacks like crostini, and card fritters that locals simply adore. But a friendly word of advice, try visiting in the spring or fall to beat the intense summer season crowds. Up next is the legendary island of Capri a true gem of the Amalfi Coast. Now perched off the coast of Naples like a glimmering jewel, this sun-drenched escape has captured travelers' imaginations for centuries. It's a popular resort destination known for its breathtaking scenery, crystal-clear waters, and wealth of natural and cultural attractions. 
One of the most must-see attractions on Capri is the Blue Grotto, a sea cave illuminated by a unique blue light. Additionally, visitors can take a chairlift to the summit of Monte Solaro for panoramic views of the island and the Bay of Naples. Did you know even emperors loved Capri way back in ancient Rome? Emperor Tiberius liked it so much that he built 12 giant houses all over the island. Even today, celebrities are drawn to its vibrant culture and charm. At number 6, we have Puglia, located in the very southeast corner of mainland Italy. It's considered the heel of Italy's boot-shaped landscape, and with both the Adriatic and Ionian seas encircling it, it truly does have a unique geographic location. What's amazing about Puglia is just how diverse the landscapes are within a relatively small area. Inland, you've got rolling countryside dotted with olive groves as far as the eye can see. And I'm talking about ancient, gnarly trees that have been harvested for centuries. It's honestly magical to drive through. Then, along both coastlines, you'll find the most stunning limestone cliffs dropping straight into the clearest, bluest waters you've ever seen. The photos really don't do it justice. Sprinkled throughout are charming towns like nothing else in Italy, from whitewashed hilltop villages to lively port cities. And let's not forget, the food is to die for, with the freshest seafood, homemade pastas, and wines and olive oils to write home about. So whether you want relaxation along the sea, cultural exploration in historic towns, or indulging in Italian cuisine, Puglia really does deliver it all. At number 5, we've got the insanely beautiful town of Positano, nestled along the Amalfi Coast. Many have probably seen photos of Positano before, but they really don't do it justice. This place is almost too gorgeous to be real. It's like someone took the most colorful rainbow, smushed it together, and plopped it right on the edge of a cliff overlooking the bluest, most vivid waters you've ever seen. The houses practically tumble down the steep slopes towards the sea in a chaotic yet charming way. Positano is definitely one of the more touristic spots along the Amalfi Coast, but it's definitely worth navigating the crowds. Not only is it insanely photogenic around every twist and turn, but the cafes and restaurants perched along the coast have incredible views you'll want to take a break to enjoy. And definitely reward yourself after all that hiking around town by taking a dip at Spiaggia Grande, one of the favorite beaches there boasting turquoise waters as far as the eye can see with soft sand perfect for Instagram shots. It's no wonder Positano has captured people's hearts for decades. Add it to your Italy list, even if it's just for a day, you won't regret it. Coming in at number 4 is the absolutely massive, and I mean massive, Lake Garda. Now this place will blow you away not only because it's Italy's largest freshwater lake, but because of the incredible natural scenery surrounding it. We're talking sleepy little towns perched on cliffs hundreds of feet above the water, lined with hotels and villas taking in the views. And of course, the bright blue lake itself is dotted with tiny islands. No wonder Lake Garda has been a magnet for visitors for centuries. Some of the picturesque towns worth exploring along the shoreline include Sirmione with its thermal springs, Charming Garniano, and Salò known for its palaces. But wherever you end up, it's highly recommended that you get out onto that crystal clear water. Whether you rent a boat, take a ferry, or try water sports, it's unforgettable. At number 3 is the stunning region of Tuscany. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Is it actually a surprise to see Tuscany ranked so high on the best places in Italy list? Not at all. This region truly embodies all of our romanticized visions of rural Italian life. That perfect balance of exquisite art and architecture, gorgeous rolling landscapes dotted with vineyards and olive groves, all wrapped up in a charmingly rustic package. Of course, some of the top spots to experience the best of Tuscany 
include the iconic towns of San Gimignano with its iconic towers, Florence with its treasured art and renaissance marvels, and Pisa with its leaning tower. But if you want to experience the area's incredible wine culture up close, it's highly recommended that you spend a day wine tasting at a place like the massive Castello Banfi Estate. Tuscany is a no-brainer for why Italy is considered one of the most beautiful countries in the world. The romance and beauty of the landscapes will stay with you long after you leave. Just be sure to add plenty of time to soak it all in. For the number two spot, we have the stunning hill town of San Gimignano. Often referred to as the town of fine towers, San Gimignano is a small walled medieval town located in the province of Siena. Known for its fascinating medieval architecture and unique skyline, San Gimignano stands out for its well-preserved tower houses, with 14 of its original 72 towers still proudly standing tall. These towers, which were built between 12th and 13th centuries as symbols of status and wealth by prominent families, dominate the town's silhouette and contribute to its nickname. And then, within the city walls, the charming historic center will have you constantly picking your job off the floor. Cobblestone streets wind between perfectly preserved buildings hundreds of years old, and around every bend is another fresco church or piazza. You really feel like you're in the middle of a Renaissance painting being brought to life. It's easy to spend entire days just wandering in a blissful daze. And for places to rest your head, you really can't beat the old world charm of somewhere like Palazzo Buccelli. It's clear why UNESCO chose to protect San Gimignano. This stunning Tuscan town is absolutely one of the region's top spots that cannot be missed. For the number one spot, undoubtedly taking the top honor is the iconic city of Florence. Now this place really needs no introduction since most people around the world instantly connected with pure art, history, and renaissance glory. Walking the streets here really does feel like a walk through an art history textbook with iconic landmarks around every turn. Must-sees include Michelangelo's magnificent yet incomplete Duomo, the Uffizi Gallery, housing some of the most famous works of all time, and the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, dazzling over the Arno River. Whether you love wandering museums and galleries, browsing quaint markets, or people watching from grand piazzas, Florence is truly a paradise catering to all interests. And even when you need to recharge, hotels like the Riverside Ponte Vecchio with its incredible views are a vacation within a vacation. The grandeur, talent, and heart poured into every artwork and structure is so profoundly inspiring. For any art or history buff, Florence should be at the top of your Italy must-visit list without a doubt. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through some of the most picturesque places in Italy. Be sure to let us know if any location piques your interest for future travel planning. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe for more travel content. Ciao for now!